We begin the show in Kwara State, North Central Nigeria, where the third convocation ceremony of Landmark University was held. Enjoy it. Landmark University, located in Kwara State, was established in year 2011 and the third graduation ceremony held on this day. 532 graduates from different departments were in happy mood as they sat patiently to receive their certificate for a school known for its focus in agriculture. The Executive Secretary of the National University Commission, Professor Julius Okoji, who was represented by Abiodun Salihu, was full of praises for the institution's achievement in their short period of existence. I congratulate the graduate students for this outstanding feat. Your parents, teachers, and indeed the nation have invested with me. The opportunity has now come for you to make manifest the dividends of the investment on you. Everywhere you go and anywhere you find yourself, you owe Landmark University the obligation to be this good ambassador. May the Almighty God crown your future and your goals. May the service success. The Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Isaac Obaya, proudly reeled out the landmark achievements of the university. The landmark University, it's not just an item on the agenda. Farm practice, agripreneurship, agri entrepreneurship are things we hold very dear. The landmark university accomplishments, particularly in the current academic session as we celebrate the third convocation ceremony. I want to again thank God that following the announcement we just received from the National Universities Commission, the university is fully and operationally licensed by the National University Commission in all our programs. She went ahead to give the summary of the result of the 2016 graduates. From our three colleges, we have from the College of Agricultural Sciences in the first class category, 12 students, soon to be released pathfinders. In the second upper category, 49. In the second lower category, 30. And this is as we have it on our programs. In the College of Business and Social Sciences, we have a total of 21 in the first category, first class category, and in the second upper category, 84 graduates, and in the second lower category, 104, in the third class category, 15. Talking about the need for Africans to believe in themselves, the Chancellor and founder of the institution, Dr. David Oyedipo, challenged everyone to develop their skills to enhance the economy of the nation. In my view, restoration shall be the rediscovery of our intellectual capacity through the development of our regional values, indigenous endowment from a realizable base of unlimited opportunity. Our restoration, therefore, is not about a fixed end, but about a process by which we continue to add value to ourselves, first by a discovery of ourselves for the recovery of our destiny. As I've always remarked, we are backward not because we are black, we are backward because we are blind. mainstreaming agripreneurship and food security. New frontiers for Africa development agenda 
a paper presented by the keynote speaker, the pioneer vice-chancellor of Michael Opara University, Umudike, Professor Placid Njoku. He wondered how Africa, with more than 50 countries and its population, still wallow in hunger and starvation. If you want to create new frontiers or provoke change, you must be driven by confidence and by knowledge. You must be determined to reject the limits of whatever even you think are your potentials. Potentials that may be imposed on you by culture, by tradition, or even the expectations of yourself and of people of you. You must be able to go beyond that. And of course, you must be willing to take risks to break the bounds of possibility. After the speeches, it was time to appreciate the outstanding graduates from each department as they were handed their certificates by the Chancellor for their good behavior and excellent academic performances. One person stood out as he won most of the awards in various categories as the best graduating student for the class of 2016. I'm so happy that all the efforts I've put in have been rewarded, but I cannot all but give all glory to God for it is by his help, by his grace, for he has crowned all my efforts with success. But actually I'm very happy to have gotten this achievement, to have the, you know, the appraisal of your peers and even you know, the chancellors and all the principal um, members of management of this institution. It's indeed a very wonderful feeling. And then they're pronounced graduates. The integrity, the teaching, especially about the word of God. You know, if you use God as your foundation, the sky is not even the, the limit. But if you are doing something and you are not putting God first, definitely you can't go far. The school is wonderful. Um, I can say the spiritual atmosphere really makes uh, education very, I think, worthwhile. And uh, the atmosphere is very conducive for learning. As the graduates move into the real world, they hope to apply all they've learned from Landmark University in order to impact their world positively and continue to be good models for others.